Well, it is the year of the rabbit. <laughs> What's up, family? Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy, C-Notes. Thanks for checking me out. I, I, I really appreciate when y'all check me out. Today, we got an early review. Yes, sir. And I won't even say early review because right now, while I'm reviewing and taping this, we, we still don't have a release date, guys. That makes this video more fantastic, man. In hand today is the Nike Dunk Low Yeah the Rabbit. And I feel like I'm repeating myself. I think my last three or four videos I've been saying this dunk should be a SB. Like, it, it has the materials. It has the, the theme behind it. It has the hidden figures. It should be a SB, but it's just a Nike Dunk Low. Before I go further, shout out to the Asian community with the, I love the way they do their New Year's with an animal. I think that's super dope, man. But this year is the year of the rabbit and Nike hit this rabbit look out the park. From the hair, hair, like hair like a rabbit, and then the hair like the fur, they killed it. The colorway, hit the B-roll. I said there's no release date on this sexy Nike Dunk Low as of yet, but the year of the rabbit is all year, so we should get it soon. Um, I think Nike started doing this about 14 years ago where they gave us like an Air Force One with the year of or the lunar year. Y'all remember Jordan was doing a lunar year thing for a while, but this time I, I, I really like it, man. Um, if you haven't, check out my Valentine's Day joint. I gave out a review super early. I think those came out last week. But yeah, we're going to get into these. But before we get into these, you know what we do here at Sneaker Notes. It's the What's on Foot segment. Go down in that comment section below. Let me know what you got on foot when you catch this video. It don't matter if it's in the next hour, if it's next year, if it's the year of the chicken. Just let me know in the comment section below what you got on foot. When you caught this video, today I got on a Jordan 1 Pine Green 1.0s. One of my favorite Jordan 1s, but Jordan 1's been coming out so much that I don't get a chance to put on the ones that came out three years ago. Y'all remember Pine Green and Court Purples was a thing. Those was a thing, man. But we done seen Pine Green 2.0 and I think even 3.0 since. But today on feet, I got on the Pine Green OGs, the 1.0s. In that comment section below, let me know what you got on foot when you catch this video. And without further ado, man, let's unbox it. Hit the music. Unboxing time. Yes, sir. And at first, I did not like this. I'm starting to like this Velcro acrylic pull-out situation, guys. I didn't like this at first. I think Travis Scott fragging was the first time I was like, okay, I could deal with it. Because when Jordan 11s was doing this, I hated it. So you get the pull-out sleeve. You got to grab it with the Nike logo there. Super dope. You got the years there, 2011 to 2023. See, I'm not like a sneaker nerd, but things that's hot, I remember. I told y'all, around like 17 years ago, they started the year of a sneaker collab. So you see that there, the rabbit there. That is a Chinese logo symbol there. I do not know what that means. My agent family, in the comment section below, let me know what that logo means. But you got a Nike swoosh there too. And yeah, just a sleeve all the way around. Overall box is dope. I'm guessing is rabbit fur or rabbit hair. That's what I'm guessing, guys. It ain't cloud, so it gotta be. Look close. It looks like a shih tzu, man. 
Looks like Shih Tzu material. That's all around the shoe box. They got a Nike logo. And it reads, Nike Dunk Low Retro PRM Fossil Stone Coconut Milk Cell. Coconut Milk. Last time we seen Coconut Milk, Coconut Milk, I think it was the SB Mummies, man. And y'all know that's one of my favorite sneakers on the planet. Open the box. They got your quality control stamp. Let me see if y'all can get this. Never no fakes here at Sneaker Notes, man. There go that there. The paper's even dope, guys. So on the paper, you get the same thing you see on the sleeve, just in a color. A nice uh, nude color. You got a rabbit, Nike logo, and that Chinese lettering again. Equipped with another paper. So they come very, very, very quality. And packed very nice. And this is the right shoe of the Nike Dunk Low Year of the Rabbit 2023s. And that's a whole 360 view, guys. I started with the right side because the right side comes with the bells and whistles. It comes with the added shoelace. It's not waxed. Regular Nike Dunk Low uh, shoelaces, but comes in that same color that you see inside the overall sneaker, which is dope. It comes laced in white, though. I would take the white out and put these nice beige sand look in. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. I thought Nike was done with the bags because it was done for the environment, but... Still here. Let's start with the toe box, guys, like we often do. Listen to that. Soft, soft, man. And I won't even say new buck. It's like a, it's a different material here, guys. It feel like couch material. But that color is in the color that you get with the shoelaces. I don't know if this is the coconut milk. I doubt it. It's more of a sand look, but super soft, man. A1. Around it, you get leather. Not like the crack leather we seen in the latest Nike Dunk Lows. This is real white leather. One thing I did notice I want you guys to see is right here. You see that look right there? It looks like it's cut a little bit. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. We'll check the uh, left shoe to make sure. Because if not, man, I paid a pretty penny for these. These will go back. But I want y'all to see that little cut there. It might symbolize something, so I'm not going to down it yet. But y'all can see the white leather all around. Super dope, man. Now let's get to my favorite. The swoosh. The swoosh is in rabbit fur or hair fur or bunny fur. Wherever you want to go with it. Super dope, man. In the back of that, you get the same look you get on the toe box, but the color is a little lighter than the toe box. But that is the color block in there. And this is New Buck Suede. I haven't seen New Buck Suede color block on a Nike Dunk Low in a long time, man. That's why this should be a SB. The inside swoosh is a different color. Still look like a rabbit, but definitely different color. So let's get the outside white, inside brown. Crazy, guys. The back, that's where you get your OG Nike Dunk logo. Y'all know I love that, man. Super dope. I love the color block in here also. In the bottom of the sneaker, you have like a, a light gum bottom, but it does have paint spotticles or paint spectacles, as you can see along the sides there. So it's not just like an all sand gum bottom. Right here, you have a rabbit, the same rabbit that you see on the box and that you see on everything else. The same rabbit is there also. Tongue even sports your uh, rabbit fur. Dope hair, man. Your soft to touch, man. I don't know if any of y'all ever touched a rabbit, but this is soft material. Kind of feels like a towel, man. Towel material here, if I could compare it to anything. But yeah, you get your regular Nike Dunk mesh tongue besides this super dope look here. And that is that Chinese logo. I'm starting to think it says Year of the Rabbit. Because I see like a Y and I see a R. But I, I just don't know that language. But I think it says Year of the Rabbit. The tongue is not mesh though, guys. The tongue is leather, actually. New Buck suede leather is crazy. But it's in a gray colorway. 
The Nike Dunk does not come with shoe trees. You get your regular tissue paper. The inside you have a rabbit with the Nike logo. The same design we keep seeing with some brown and caramel brown around the uh, sock liner. Same thing in the left shoe. This is the left shoe here. Everything adds up. I forgot to tell you guys about the shoelace tag here, 2023. The other one said the same thing. They both say 2023. Now let's check that little piece. Yeah, that's how the sneaker come, guys. So you can see both sneakers side by side. Let's get the shoelaces out the way. You see that little piece right there? Should be on this side. That's how the sneaker comes, guys. I don't know. I have to look up why it's made that way, but super dope. As I told you about the bottom with the pink spatter cools, that's all through both sneakers. Yes, sir, man. So that's a quick review of the Nike Dunk Low Yeah, the Rabbit. Still don't have a release date. Let me know if you look in the cop. I did check third party. GOAT has these for about... 300 to 450 depending on size. Stock X the same. And it's very rare when Stock X and GOAT numbers are like almost exactly the same. That usually means this sneaker will be hard to get when you drop. Let me know if you're looking to cop it. Um, I'm happy. I really like it. The quality's A1. Not really my color. Y'all know I don't really like the nudes and the brown. But yeah, the rabbit. Nike hit it out the park, man. I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Thanks for watching. Everybody, get rich.